today's video, we are going to look at Teachers Pay Teachers newest updates. The good, the bad. Will it be ugly? Stay tuned. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Lorianne and if you are new or returning, welcome here at It's So Primary. We talk teacher side hustles, Teachers Pay Teachers, Boom, Canva, Pinterest, Google Slides, PowerPoint. And I'm preempting the TPT mini store reviews that I was going to do. They're started, and, but something happened last week. Uh, Teachers Pay Teachers had a town hall meeting and some very interesting information was given out. And they've actually been hinting at some of these things. And so we are going to talk about them right now, right now. So in the meantime, I hope you are having a great week. So what I want to do is I want to talk about the, I, I'll just give you a little summary of the town hall meeting. You can still watch it. What you need to do is you actually have to register for it, even though it's passed, and then they'll send you a link and you can watch it. Um, the summary is often posted on the TPT seller forum. I don't know if you can see that. Tell, I want to share with you a couple things. First of all, there is a new search improvement, they call it. Okay, it is an improvement. Um, they are in beta right now. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to enhance the buyer experience by providing personalized searching. And the reason why I'm bringing all this up is in a couple Facebook groups, people are up in arms over this. They're, they're saying their sales are down. Uh, you know, this is ridiculous, blah, blah, blah. Personalized search <laughs> is nothing new. Okay. You can go on Etsy and get it. You can go on Google. Many stores offer it. Personalized search, again, as they are suggesting, will enhance the buyer experience. Is this good? Is this bad for the seller? I think it can be both. It might mean that... So, for example, say someone is searching for the uh, kindergarten morning work. Will the search come up with the highest ranked or the highest sales products first? Some are suggesting that it will actually suggest the newest products uploaded. We don't know. I'm just going to read a little bit to you from TPT, okay? Because I thought I'll let, let them talk. We're continuing to test improvements to the TPT marketplace with the goal of helping more teachers find and purchase the resources they need. Right now, we're testing personalized search results with a portion of buyers who visit our site. This means that when educators with different needs use the same search terms, such as geometry or back to school, they'll see results tailored to their grade, their subject, and other preferences. In our early test results, we've seen that this improvement helps teachers find and purchase more resources. Here's what sellers need to know about this test. Search best practices remains the same, such as adding clear descriptions, tags, and previews. We will expand this test throughout September only if we continue to see that more buyers are finding and purchasing resources. We'll keep you informed via our seller update emails and on this forum. And one of the things that they refer you to is to look at the TPT search information guide. If you are not on the TPT sellers forum, as a buyer, you should be. I'm not saying be on there every day. I'm not even saying be on there every week, but I try to go on at least once a month and information like this is, is there. Right? And there's lots of links. So TPT is very good at providing links and PDFs and directions to different things. And so it's worth your while. So search. And like they suggest, what can you do? Optimize. Make your uh, descriptions clear. That you have excellent mock-ups for your thumbnails. Have a PDF preview. These are nothing. This is nothing new. Uh, the many TPT uh, YouTubers on here. I'll talk about this, do it. <laughs> Next thing, TPT is investing in data. I am excited about this one. 
okay? They shared about this at the TPT Forward uh, Conference, but what they're doing is they're moving to a new data provider and it's going to take effect in November. So like I said, I'm excited to see what this is going to be and, and how it's going to change the metrics. So my suggestion to you, if you are not keeping track of your data, do it now do the whole year because I, we don't know they, they haven't shown us some a again a beta page or anything so we have no idea what the new data is going to look like and there might be data that you want you can export things get it all just take screenshots do something so that you have it because again I, I have no idea what the new one's going to look like but a new one is coming next thing uh, TPT released a marketplace opportunities guide Okay, and this is actually, there's, there wasn't really much in it that to me was a surprise, but it's a document, again, worth looking at because what they're doing is they're trying to forecast what are the needs of teachers so that you can make products that people need. Because honestly, that's what Teachers Pay Teachers is about. It is about getting teachers the right resources to help them be the right teacher for their kids. So they talked in there about uh, meeting the needs of new and experienced teachers, uh, expanding high school resources. Okay, high school, if you are a high school educator thinking of selling on Teachers Pay Teachers, it's a good niche to get into. They're still talking about making interactive digital resources. I get this question asked every couple months. Should I still be making digital? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we are still in a pandemic. There are many teachers still highly using, highly using, I don't know if that's right, <laughs> using digital products. So yes, keep making them. I make both, I make digital, I make paper, they both sell. My digital are honestly outselling my paper at the moment, but paper's doing fine. Socially emotional learning. Yeah, we knew this was, this was, I feel like it's inundated already. It's like, I don't even want to go there. If you want ideas for what you can make, check out the marketplace opportunities. They'll sometimes drop these little keywords. They actually will, they also have the top trending keywords page. This is the marketplace opportunities guide. It's not very long, 20, 10 pages. Okay, but at the very end of it, so let me scroll and I'll show it to you. Top search terms for this type of year. I don't know if you can see that. Gold right there. This is what people are searching for. These words need to be in your titles, your descriptions. Um, they've got pre-K and kindergarten column, elementary first to fourth, middle school fifth to eighth, and ninth to twelfth. So depending on your niche, that's them. And that's just for September to November. So now would be a great time to be making products for November. Cyber sale coming up in November. Okay. Uh, so let me segue. Maybe you're, you are working on keyword research. I do have videos on keyword research. If you've got some time on your hands, the week of October 2nd, October 2nd to 5th, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. I think it's October 2nd to 5th. Kristen Doyle, who, in my opinion, is one of TPT's, a TP, she's not, she doesn't work for TPT. She's a TPT seller, just like us. But she is a guru when it comes to SEO. Not only for Teachers Be Teachers algorithm, but she's really good about Google if you have a website or blog. Okay, she's excellent for that too. And I took her boot camp. It's called Profit Booster back in 2021. I think it was about a year ago and totally worth it. I mean, it was nothing. It, I think it cost me 30, $35 or something like that. I think it's, I think it's got up to 37 or it maybe it was 37 last year. doesn't matter. Totally worth it. Every night she will sh share one component of getting your products optimized. One of the things that I did is that I actually joined her VIP group and I got I was part of a group coaching that happened after each of those uh, sessions. 
and there were some really big sellers in there. I was kind of like fangirling <laughs> a little bit going, oh, who's that right there? I know who that is right there. <laughs> Anyways, I have a link below. I have an affiliate link uh, with her because I love her stuff. I might, I might, if I can get myself myself organized a little bit more, I might come go back and get a refresher because I, I thought it was fantastic. Um, if you have taken the Profit Booster Bootcamp, let me know down below. I actually used to subscribe to Kristen before uh, that bootcamp and the little things that she would have in her emails, I would do and they would work. And I still do the things that I've learned. Okay, I'm not perfect at it, but my number one product is something I change the keywords and all this and I, it's still on the first page right it's still on the first page and that's why it's still getting sales each week okay so that's all I'm going to share for now please 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 get if you want to get all the all the information I, I skipped stuff uh, from the marketplace but they talk about um, easel they talk about and if you live in the New York area they're having a unconference at the TPT headquarters I would love to crash that. <laughs> I live on the other side of the, of the country, but oh well. Check out the TPT Seller Forum. It's got very good information. Okay, so next week's video will be the TPT Store uh, reviews. And uh, I will email you ahead of time if I'm going to be doing your store. And if I'm not doing your store, but I've put you on a list, I'll email you as well because I'll, I'll, it'll take me a little while to get all the... Um, because I have enough for a couple videos and uh, I will only do one for now because I've got another I have a couple other videos that are coming up I might get to a second one who knows right who knows uh, school's a little bit busy yeah you know if you're a teacher you know this time of year is just a little bit on the crazy side but that's okay so wherever you are in the world I hope you and your family are staying safe being healthy Take care of each other. Listen, this pandemic is not over. It isn't. Okay? And I could, I might have a whole talk on why your sales may be down and all that. There's a whole, there's a lot of factors. But anyways, keep yourself healthy. Not only for you, your family, but your class. <laughs> and we'll catch you in that video or that playlist. See ya.